common to see pastors surrounded by armed security personnel within or outside the church premises, as there are some of the pastors who will not dare step out without the presence of mobile policemen. Here's a list of the top 10 pastors in Nigeria who are heavily protected. At number 10 is Pastor Ayo Richejafo, Senior Pastor of Word of Life Bible Church, Wari Delta State. Ayo Richejafo and his wife Helen were once seen at an event as a guest. However, what got the attention of many people was the number of bodyguards around the influential man of God and his wife. It left many people asking and wondering why the man of God and the former leader of the Christians in Nigeria would need those massive bodyguards. Also, many asked who wants them harmed or killed that were around such a number of bodyguards for the protection of their lives when God's protection still remains means the ultimate, as the pastors tell their members. It is understandable when popular artists, actors and politicians get security bodyguards, but when men and women of God do the same, people tend to raise eyebrows forgetting they are humans too. On number 9 is Pastor John C. Suleiman. Pastor John C. Suleiman is a Nigerian evangelist and the senior pastor and the general overseer of Omega Fire Ministry International, a church with its headquarters in Awushi, Edo State. He's one person who has invested so much in recruiting armed security guys and is never left unguarded. He recently escaped an assassination attempt when his convoy was attacked. One of the suspects who was arrested in connection with the October 2022 attack on the general overseer of Omega Fire Ministries worldwide, Apostle Suleiman in an interview with the journalist admitted that the attack on the pastor was meant to assassinate him. Gomez attacked the convoy of the pastor along the Benin Awushi road in Edo state and killed six persons including three policemen. I think we are not, it's not easy for any police force to track us down or to arrest us. It's what not, kind of we don't make, I don't make call. I don't make call. Even the phone I'm using, I have never used it to contact anybody. So I can really say that it, it was only God that wanted to track me down because of the caliber of the person that we have assault. So what were you people going to do with him when you, you wanted to kidnap or kill him? Kill. You wanted to kill? Yes. And number 8 is Bishop Oyedepo. Bishop David Oyedepo was born on the 27th of September 1954 and is a Nigerian preacher, Christian author, businessman, architect, and the founder and the head bishop of the popular and fast growing church in Nigeria, popularly known as Faith Tabernacle in Ota, Ogun State, Nigeria, and Living Faith Church Worldwide, also known as Winners Chapel International. The bishop has been seen on many occasions, well guarded by armed security personnel in and outside his church. And number 7 on the list is Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Pastor Chris is a top Nigerian pastor, author, and mentor. He is the founder of the Christ Embassy, also known as the Believers Worldwide. He also has personal bodyguards that follow him when he is going for a public function, especially in a different part of the country or outside the shores. It is said that he has an elevator which takes him directly to the poopy to avoid attack by any shady element. He doesn't joke with his well-trained security personnel. On number 6 on the list is Pastor Udumeje. Pastor Shuku Emeka Ohanere, popularly known as Udumeje, is a top Nigerian pastor, prophet, musician, humanitarian, residing in Anambra State, Nigeria. Udumeje's claimed methods of healing earned him the title the wrestling pastor. Udumeje once had a quarrel with a former female associate who accused him of being a false prophet and a chatterland who staged managed miracles. Upon being described as a money inclined showmaker, he declared his distractors to be noisemakers. Despite being a wrestling pastor, Odumeji has put up for himself a formidable force of security personnel to protect him from any form of attack. Long convoy of armed personnel are always in guard whenever he's out. And number 5 is Pastor Adeboye. Pastor Adeboye is a popular Nigerian mathematician, pastor, lecturer, public figure, and founder of the Redeemed Christian Church. Although he's less guarded with armed security personnel within his church, but he uses them on few occasions when he's going for an outing. He's always dressed in simple trousers, shirts, and bow tie. Enoka Deboye's modest appearance believes the enormous influence and power he wields. And number 4 on the list is Pastor Chris Okotie. The Christian minister, once a highly successful recording artist and aspiring politician, reportedly called on members of his household of God's church to evangelize their Catholic neighbors in an effort to rescue them. Chris Okotie, the pastor of the household of God's church, once condemned Nigerians who has criticized him for engaging the service of armed security personnel in and around the church. This is said was necessary due to the current events in Nigeria. Everybody is now taking security matters 
very serious. The flamboyant pastor Chris Okote stunned worshippers with gun totting armed guards with bulletproof vests guarding him during a sermon to mark the annual Caris Award last year. And number three on the list is Pastor Paul Eneche. Pastor Paul Eneche is the founder and senior pastor of the Dunamis International Gospel Center, headquartered in Abuja, Nigeria. Dr. Paul, who was trained as a medical doctor, according to full-time ministry by God, preaches every Sunday to over 100,000 members in Abuja, in the Glory Doom, and through the network of satellite churches to millions in Nigeria and beyond. Dr. Paul Eneche is married to the ever-smiling wife, Dr. Becky Eneche, and they have four children. Dr. Paul has the mandate of restoring human destiny and dignity by the administration of the benefits of redemptions through the ministry of the world and the demonstration of power. Being a pastor in such a big city as Abuja requires you to watch and not just pray. This is exactly what Pastor Eneshe is doing as he moves around with armed security guys in order to foster any form of injurious attack on him. And number two is Pastor Jeremiah Fufuyi. Pastor Jeremiah Fufuyi is the general overseer of Christ's Mercy Land Deliverance Ministry in Wari Delta State. Fufuyi has been criticized of his loud acts of charity very publicly and showing focus on demons and deliverance in his ministry today. During the COVID-19 pandemic, he donated about 3 million naira to staff, members of his church, and to the Nigerian government. Fufuyi also returned their tithes and offerings, saying it was payback time. Senior prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufuyi, also known as Papa J, was said to have splashed about 100 million naira and distributed over 4,500 cartons of noodles to his church workers and those present in church. This pastor is one of the most heavily protected pastors store in Nigeria and he has so many personal cars and a long train armed personnel usually accompany him wherever he goes. The last among the top protected pastors is Pastor David Abiyome, a Nigerian pastor, author, evangelist, and the founder or presiding pastor of Salvation Ministry, with his headquarters located in GROA, Portacourt River State, Nigeria. He is married to Peace Abiyome, who is also a pastor of Salvation Ministry. On several occasions, he has been seen heavily guarded by several security personnel to his church and other outings. Through his Salvation Ministry Hour of Salvation and Life Services, David Abiyome reaches millions of worshippers. Ibiome has been controversial on multiple occasions. In January 2017, Ibiome was alleged to have made prejudiced comments against the Ogoni people, leading the movement for the survival of the Ogoni people to demand that he apologize. In March 2017, it's alleged that Ibiome was having an affair with Nollywood actress Iyabo Ojo. Ibiome strongly denied the allegations. After surviving such a horrible season of allegations, who won't keep himself under security watch to prevent any planned attack by the enemies? So if you enjoyed the video kindly hit the subscribe button and like